Yeah, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jutilation here with some Call of Duty Black Ops commentary and gameplay. I'm on the jungle map, rocking from my silence with uh, extended mags. You see my perks, you know how it is. And uh, basically, I'm here to talk about you know Call of Duty, how to own this game, what strategy to use, and. Uh, I'm also here to talk about what I don't like about the game. Sorry, haters, but uh, I gotta point it out. And what games are coming out are probably gonna be contenders, you know, to the throne Call of Duty. I mean, let's be honest, this game is fun, but after a while, you know, the maps get kind of old and shit. Gameplay is pretty slow. There's a lot of bullshit that goes into Call of Duty. I mean, you know, host advantage, last stand. It's still a fun game, but you know. Nothing wrong with trying new games and see, seeing if there's something else that's fun to play, you know? So, uh, basic- Aw, uh, come on. RC that's that's embarrassing, ready. man. That's why you gotta have Flat Jacket Pro, man. Save your life many times. Well, RC one of my problems with Call of Duty right now is that you're basically Friendly forced to play the, the class I'm playing right now. You got the Famas Silence and, uh... I got extended mags, but you probably should be rocking a uh, dual max instead. That way you don't have to use sleight of hand. And which is sleight of hand is just dominate. That's the number one perk that people use right now. But I like to mix it up with a uh, warlord. You get a couple extra um, grenades and stuff. A couple more flashbangs. And with the uh, dual mags, you also get a uh, more ammo. Ooh, to the face. Now see if I had a, if I had slide of hand right there, I'd have had all of it. Alright, I got him instead. It's, it's all good. But anyway, basically forced to rock it for mass, because if you don't, you're gonna get raped. I mean, at least when the AK-47 was overpowered, you, you you get more diversity. I mean there's only one gun people use. Oh, come on. See, that's why you gotta have better sound in in, in the game, man. I, I would I should have heard them. But uh yeah, that's basically my, my problem with Call of Duty. I only prestige once because, I mean, I only, I got five classes. Like, three of them have Famasas on them. I mean, it doesn't make, I think they should have mixed it up a lot, a lot more than they did, man. Napalm strike coming in. For a map like this, Black Jacket is, is a must because, uh, Napalm striking this map is deadly, as you can see right there. And uh, I like to use um, Tactical Mass Pro right now because this is an early, early prestige gameplay. I go 32 and 9, nothing special. These guys aren't really putting up a fight, so. But if I had Blackbird unlocked by then and uh, dogs, it would have been like 50 or plus. You get the. Um, a helicopter as well. Those are all good kill streaks for a map like this. In. I like to stay uh, move slowly and check your corners. You know, stay around them. Um, cap, cap the sites, cap the flags where you need to. Don't fucking be a kill whore. And uh, you should be getting mad. Good scores if you follow my strategy, man. Uh, even if you're in a coma, you can still go positive with this loadout. That's how easy it is, man. Which is, uh, it, it's good for your game, but it's kind of bad because the game needs more diversity. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 had a lot of problems, but there was a lot of diversity in it. I mean, everybody in this game is rocking the same loadout. Which is why I'm also here to talk about some other new games. If you guys are tired of Black Ops or you want to try something new, there's a couple of games that are coming out, uh, a couple of betas that I've tried, SOCOM 4, Killzone 3, uh, uh, Play Crisis 2, uh, I'll let you guys know, um, I haven't played Homefront yet, if you guys have played it, let me know if it's a good game, if it's, if it's a uh, must buy, I'm trying to find new games to play, you know, add more gameplay in my channel, you know, mix it up a little bit. In my opinion, uh, the best game out this year, I mean, personally, the best game altogether is Little Big Planet 2, but that's that's most most of the community is not really into that type of game. If you're talking about first-person shooters, though, um, I'd have to go with Crisis 2. I mean, 
When I started playing it, I didn't like how they didn't have any guns. There's like two guns you could use is the feline and the, the scar. I haven't unlocked the last gun because leveling up in Crisis 2 takes forever. But uh, after playing it, and uh, it has its problems, but I, I have to say it has a, the the real weapons in that game are you have to use it is the suit, not the guns. You gotta learn how to customize your suit, maximize how to when to use your abilities. I think it's something new. It adds some fresh freshness to the gameplay. I mean, some people say it's like um, Halo, or I don't think it's like Halo at all. It's its own game, man. I mean, it does everything unique. The leveling up system, I think they, they ripped it off right out of Modern Warfare 2, but instead of leveling up um, your, your guns and um, unlocking attachments for your guns, you unlock attachments for your suit. And, you know, that's a good strategy. It's very addictive because you want to unlock all of the abilities and see what they do and stuff like that. I think Crisis 2, um, they did a real good thing when they stole that from Modern Warfare 2 because um, you unlock a hollow, then you got to kill 20 people with it. It makes you use all of the attachments. And uh, Killzone 3, I mean, people say that Crisis 2 had the best graphics on the console. I mean, no way. Killzone 3 was just amazing graphics. It's a fun game to play, I mean, but unfortunately, it's, it's, Killzone 2 was a better game in my opinion. So, uh, if you guys are deciding what game to get, I probably would say, um, probably should get Crisis 2. Because uh, honestly, if it wasn't for um, zombie mode, I wouldn't be, be playing Black Ops anymore. Because uh, I think that the perks are just too overpowered. Last stand, I can't stand it. I play bare bones nowadays, but, um... Personally, um... My problems with Killzone 3, I think it was a fun game, but... They gave you all of the classes from the start. All you have to do is unlock a couple of attachments for the class that you like. And then there's no reason to, to level up in that game. It's, it's just like... It's too easy. In Killzone 2, you have to fight and claw your way to get, um... A different class, you know. And then on top of that, you could customize your class. You could customize your gameplay. I, I think Killzone 2 is a very underrated game. And uh, Guerrilla Games really messed up. They could have had a real contender. I mean, the game the graphics are second to none. I mean, Crisis 2 on the PS3. It's not even even Black Black Ops looks better than it. It's not even a contender when it comes to graphics. It looks much better on the Xbox 360, by the way. A lot of people have been saying that otherwise. Don't listen to them. I played all three games, I can tell you from personal experience. I mean, Crisis 2 on the PS3 looks horrible. Uh, one of the maps, I mean, you look out, it looks like, oh, I think it's the map with uh, on the island with all the sunlight. You look outside, it just looks really bad. All right, so that's it for me, man. Uh, let me know in the comments if you think I should get home front. Uh, Alright, peace out.